think we learned a lot. Um, you know, we'll have a lot of film to go back and watch and uh, be able to break down and uh, just work on some of the things that we need to work on. And that's what it's all about. You know, we, you know, you, when you go into an exhibition game, you don't know uh, really uh, a lot. You know, normally we we scout, give the players a scout. Uh, so it gives them the opportunity for us to play against someone and them have to go uh, through everything that we say on the bench to take out on the floor. And so it's going to help us a lot because it helps us with players to see different rotations and things that we need um, because we do have so many new players and it gave us a chance to see those things. So, yes. Do you feel the communication based on that was good tonight? Yes, I do. And I think, uh, you know, these are the, those learning situations. You know, it's just, the real thing is on, you know, next Friday. But we got to go back and we'll break the film down and look at things. And, you know, but from – uh, me being in, in the game and watching the things, uh, I'm pretty sure when I watch film, I'll see some other things that we need to really go back and work on. Uh, I think uh, there was times where we had a, a letdown, like three or four minutes where they go and they score, and uh, we wasn't doing the things we needed to as far as how we were guarding screens and what we were doing as far as defensively. Kendall just had one shot tonight. Just what went into that, that play tonight? Well, I think it's she, everybody else got a lot of shots, and uh, that's just who Kendall is. Uh, you know, I think that she understands and knows that there's a lot of different players on this team, and I think she was letting a lot of the new faces and the young ones uh, get a chance to get a feel in front of the crowd and everything else. Is that something that you were proud to see, or do you want her going out there? And uh, of course. I mean, I definitely want her to be able to, to uh, go out and get shots, but at the end of the day, that's the type of player that she is. Uh, she's going to adjust and, and and play and do the things that she needs to. And I think she understands and knows that uh, we want to continue to have players to have that confidence. Uh, a lot of them is the first time playing, uh, you know, and she wants them to be able to be the best that they can be. But, of course, at the end of the day, you know, um, I don't think we'll be sitting here in the middle of the season and uh, Kendall Noble only getting one shot. And uh, so that's that's definitely not what uh, the game plan will be. Um, but I also understand and know there's different situations for different times, and I think she adjusted very well to that. Do you think that she had the opportunities to, to go in there and shoot? Or was she uh, I think sometimes. I think sometimes. And I think she knew J.C. Coe had the hot hand, Tasia was scoring, different people were scoring, and that's just who Kendall Noble is. And, you know, as a coach, I understand and know that. Uh, and I also uh, know that she understands and knows that. So, you know, uh, this was a game that different other people stepped up. And, you know, at the end of the day, uh, I told you all, you know, before I always talk about this, Kendall is not about herself. She's about team. And at the end of the day, that's what this was about. And this was about us getting better and trying to be the best we could be uh, tonight so we can be ready uh, for the future. You talked about J.C. shooting all offseason. And tonight she goes out and just drains a bunch of threes. Just uh, how proud of you. Were you to see that kind of effort? Well, I was just glad that everybody could see it. Uh, you know, I see it every day, and the staff sees it in practice. And, uh, you know, to J.C.'s credit, you know, she got out and, and got in rhythm and in the flow, and, and that's just what she does. And, you know, the greatest thing about it is uh, she, she made a lot of threes, but J.C. is a very smart basketball player and knows a, a lot about the game. And so uh, my challenge, and we're going to continue to challenge her as a staff, is to be able to do all the other things, too, which she can. Not only that, but it just looked like a lot of really good connections with the Ivy, uh, especially in the second half. Mm -hmm. just, uh, the efforts on offense to be able to see guys, see people just scoring it at will pretty much anywhere, just how proud of you. Well, I was proud of, like you said, I think across the board, you look at it, you know, we had 23 assists. Uh, you know, when you can move the ball and share it and, and, and get it to the open person at the right time, I think it, sh it shows a lot, you know. Uh, uh, but I want to continue for us to really focus on defense. Uh, but, of course, you're always excited when uh, your group can put the ball in the hole. Talk about the defense, Coach. Is there anything that really jumps out at you immediately that you want to continue working on? Well, you know, I really uh, didn't look at the stats, but from the bench and looking, you know, we, we uh, gave up a lot of middle drives. That's things that we don't allow, uh, you know, and, and we didn't rebound uh, and box out the way that I want us to. Um, we're a small team. We're going to have to keep focusing on those things. Um, but at the end of the day, I just think us being able to get stops when we needed to. Uh, and there were certain times where we didn't do that. And again, just uh, doing the things that we needed to do as far as how we were guarding screens or if we were switching, the things that we were doing. And, uh, and we played some different zones and people were out of position. Uh, but it's really good because we'll be able to go back and watch film and be able to, to use those, uh, that film as a lot of teaching moments. You 
You mentioned that lack of rebounding in that first half. I mean, you really limited their shots and mm -hmm. the ball over a lot. So you like that defensive aggression? Or, or yes. Well, and that's what, uh, you know, I was on them in, in, in the huddle about picking up the, you know, intensity. Uh, I felt like our intensity level wasn't where I wanted it to be in the first half. Uh, and uh, that's, you know, just what we've been pushing them every single day to bring that intensity and have that. And, uh, you know, as a coaching staff, we have to challenge them and, and put them in that position every single day. So that's something that we got to focus on, it too. Michael comfortable out there tonight. Get back into it. Yeah, I would say so. I think she looked pretty good, uh, and I think she's getting there. Uh, it's going to continue to keep taking time. But the greatest thing that I uh, was really proud of her about tonight is she led this team, uh, and she talked on the floor the whole time, and, and that's what we need from her. Uh, she made open shots when she she needed. She made the right passes, uh, and that's what fifth year seniors do. And uh, Michael's always been one of those uh, players for us that's been able to get the ball. To to the right people at the right time, take care of the basketball. But the most important thing I was really proud about, proud of her for tonight is her leadership. And that is what I've been talking to her a lot about. And she really stepped up tonight, so I was proud of her. Any other questions for Coach? Thank you all. Thank you.